Hey guys, I got another 3D print item to show you today. This is an anchor for a beach umbrella. This thing spins down into the ground and then holds your umbrella by tightening this little part right here. And you'll be able to have a nice amount of shade at the beach and it's going to be awesome. I'll show you exactly how I did this. So this is where I found this project at. You will search Beach Umbrella Anchor. Uh, then you do have to do some different sizings on this and arrangements. And you'll want to make sure you also uh, put supports on it as well. And so I'll have the link to where I've gone ahead and made these adjustments for an A1 Mini in the description below. Let's go ahead and remove this from the bed and it will come off pretty easy. We will need to go out to the garage, get some supports off and screw this thing together. But overall that came off really nice and easily in three different pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all of the supports that came when you printed. This is PET G, so it is a little bit uh, stiffer of supports, so it may take a little bit more work to get off than PLA. A lot of times I'll use a pair of needle nose just to help get it started breaking it off. So that looks good right there. All the supports are off all three. We'll go ahead and clean up the table real quick. So we'll go ahead and start putting this together. You'll see that there are three screw holes here, three screw holes here, and then on the other side, there's three more on each. So you will need to get this to where it fits in and you line up to the screw holes. I'm just using these small screws here. I'll try to put a link in the description um, of what size they are, but they're just left over from previous projects, Phillips, and you don't want to kill it, just slightly put it in there. These ones might be a touch too long, but my uh, umbrella is really thin, so it'll be fine. And so just those six screws right there is what holds it together. I assume you probably can use some kind of glue and you can see these screws are probably just a little too long, but I'm okay with that again. The umbrella holder is just not very thick. Uh, then this is a little knob right here that will contract down onto your pole. Uh, then you can actually spin it into the sand with these little handles here and uh, should work really well. I will have a full video of that at the end, going into the sand. But let's go ahead and test it real quick. We're gonna go ahead and pull out. This is your normal post, much thicker in the sand. So you'll just go ahead and stick that down in and we'll go ahead on this side and spin it down till it's tight. And that thing is pretty sturdy in there. And so you can see that will uh, do really well holding it up in the sand. And you can tighten it down more if you can, but uh, that's pretty tight right there. So I'll show you what it looks like out on the beach. 
So here we go. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the sand. You just kind of rotate this thing around. This is very soft sand with uh, not a whole lot of shells right here, but it does go in very smooth. I tried it on a little bit uh, coarser sand and it goes in really well. And I'm just going to spin this thing all the way down until it pretty much can't spin it anymore. And then we'll go ahead and stick the umbrella top in. Obviously, I probably could go a little further than that, but for this demonstration, this is all that's needed. As it worked well, it stayed up, and uh, we'll go ahead and screw this little knob down, and that just tightens it into place. And then we'll put the rest of the umbrella together, and you'll see the final result, and uh, this thing works super duper well. I'm really excited I got to print this and use it at the beach, and uh, just got to have a little bit more shade on us on a really hot and sunny week at the beach.